often called by tourists my favorite place in Israel and a must-see, Nazareth Village brings the Bible to life with a first-century living village and farm. Arriving on site, our guides take your group through the village, giving their regular guide a much-needed chance to rest in the lounge or catch up on business. Each tour can be customized for length and theme, whether it be an archaeology-focused, biblical studies or pilgrim tour. Nazareth Village can offer tours in various languages and hosts large groups, up to 350 people at once, with restrooms in different locations on site. Your group will follow the guide into the museum and out through a time tunnel, going from present-day life to Nazareth during the first century. Down the shepherd's path and onto the parable walk, we encounter the villagers dressed in their first-century clothing, going about their daily lives. We will see ancient olive trees with olives dripping from the branches, and in season, see the olives picked and sorted. Wheat is plowed and threshed as children play among the trees. The sheep and goats delight our visitors with their antics, and we learn from the wisdom of the shepherd. The village grave can be entered and explored. One of the most important features of our site is the ancient wine press, carved into the bedrock and dating back to the first century. Christian visitors will be glad to know that Jesus almost certainly was on this hillside, with its vineyard and watchtower during his lifetime. Proceeding up the hillside along the terraces, our visitors will learn about the parable of the sower, as well as ancient farming practices. The stories of Jesus come to life with new relevancy as we together explore the quarry in this beautiful setting. Walking toward the buildings, we pass the cistern, where women gather to get water. Just beyond this is a favorite stop, the olive press, where a huge stone grinds the olives just as it has been done for thousands of years. Joseph the carpenter demonstrates the use of his tools while a guide explains to the eager listeners. But mostly they would work on tools. Right now he's working on a pulley for a new olive press that we're working on. But in the back you can see a plow hanging. There's also a yoke for two donkeys. So things like these would be made uh, by so the deck on Entering further into the house, Hannah the weaver shows off her craft and explains the ancient methods of dyeing the wool. Depending on the length of the tour desired, the group can visit the mikveh, the rich man's house and other parts of the farm and village. But the most important part of the tour may be the synagogue, carefully replicated from first century research taken from the ruins at Masada and Gamla, the synagogue at Nazareth village is not to be missed. Here visitors can stand or sit and learn about the practices in the synagogue during Jesus' time. Remember I told you that all the buildings are recreations including this one, but this is kind of unique building because this is the only reconstructed synagogue from the first century in the entire country. This level with ceiling, windows, pillars and benches. Delicious meals are served by the villagers in pottery replicated from archaeological finds. Our beautiful dining rooms can hold up to 270 people at once and meet the needs of your group, whether vegetarian or meat-based meals. Special events and Passover meals can also be arranged. To add to the group's convenience, the entire tour and meal can take as little as 90 minutes, and the plentiful restrooms, unique gift shop, and abundant free parking means that everyone's needs can be accommodated. The free gift at the end of the tour tops off the experience at Nazareth Village, and is a take-home reminder of this one-of-a-kind experience. Join us with your group!